Promoting work-life balance is becoming increasingly more important in Korea as it directly relates to birth rates. Studies are ongoing to find out ways to encourage women to have more kids and also prevent them from discontinuing work after childbirth. One valid option is improving paid maternity leave. Kim Jeon zooms in on why this measure, among others, should prove to be more effective than other policies. Providing breaks and paid maternity leaves can encourage women to have more babies while keeping their careers afloat after childbirth. That's according to a report released on Thursday by the Korea Development Institute, which studied the effects of policies on the work-life balance of working women. The report said the likelihood of women to have children increases by three percentage points when companies provide breaks for childbirth and child rearing, and is cited as the most effective method among 30 others as studied. Other main factors include getting help from parents and in-laws on household chores and being provided with part-time employment options. Meanwhile, factors that increase chances of women continuing their work after childbirth depends on whether companies provide paid maternity leave. It's difficult for mothers to be to go on unpaid maternity leaves. Even with a paid leave, it's widely believed the amount of income is too low. According to the Korea Employment Information Service, paid maternity leaves are granted to those working for companies that have employment insurance. An employee can choose to go on a leave for a maximum of one year per child age eight years old or less. Payment depends on the duration of their leave. Those applying for maternity leaves that are four months or longer could receive around 40 percent of their regular wage. Kim Jeon, Arirang News.